Hello and welcome to another episode of Twitch Tips. I'm Ed Meyer Plague, and today we are going to be discussing XSplit and how to change some of your output settings to make your stream look nice, crisp, quality, and fluid. So uh, first and foremost, what we're going to do is go up here to Output, find the stream that you want to fix up, and click on the little gear next to it. This will load up your wonderful Twitch properties. And uh, here we're going to discuss a couple different things. We're going to talk about bitrate, and we're going to talk about video encoder presets. Your bitrate is probably the biggest hindrance to your uh, to your stream. So what your bitrate does is essentially tells XSplit what quality to output um, and how much information to output from XSplit to Twitch. Now, typically, you're going to want to stay right around the 2300 range because this is about 720, and at 720, you could do 60 FPS. And... Um, this is a, a pretty good fair amount to make your stream look really good and it's also not too high to where people that don't have a good enough download speed uh, end up you know, they can't watch your stream it buffers a lot so if some of your viewers are noticing a um, a lot of buffer it may be because your bitrate is too high and their internet can't handle it um, this is also a thing that plagues uh, streamers that don't have partnership and we don't have um, the the codexes to change from source quality to low quality, medium quality, high quality, all that stuff, uh, you're stuck watching at whatever the streamer is outputting. So if you have a really bad internet connection, if your ISP isn't that good, if you're watching on mobile over 3G, 4G, um, you know, there's a lot of different factors. A lot of people are watching from different uh, devices and different internet settings. You wanna be kind of right around the middle to make sure that everyone's able to see your stream uh, pretty well with uh, minimal interruptions. Uh, too many interruptions and they can just leave your channel and you'll never see them again. So 2300, 2100, 2300, 2500. I wouldn't go any higher than 2500. Uh, like I said, it's all around 720p and looks very well. So if you're noticing any issues with buffering, this may be too high. Um, the other, on the flip side, the other thing that could be affecting your stream is your own upload speed. So I recommend going to speedtest.net, checking your upload speed. The link will be down below. Um, as long as you have a three megabit per second or higher upload speed, you should be fine on your end. So for instance, minus six, I know no matter what I'm streaming at, it'll never be on my end as to why it's buffering for other people. So the next thing I want to talk about is going to be, uh, one thing that most people never see for some odd reason is this little gear right here. If you click on this, it opens up video encoding setup. The one big thing inside the video encoding setup screen that you want to pay attention to is the encoder preset. It is defaulted set to very fast, but for some reason, sometimes it could go uh, somewhere else and not be that, or if you accidentally are looking through settings and, and change something, uh, you want to make sure that your encoder preset is set to very fast or faster if you have an I, a, a pretty decent i7. Um, I have a newer i7, but I still use very fast because I don't really feel like touching this stuff. Um, I understand that just changing one setting in here can mess up a stream completely. So I tend to keep it at very fast. If I'm playing a game that's very, very beautiful, like just graphically beautiful, um, I'll bump it up to faster so that the stream will see kind of what I'm seeing because going through Twitch, it's kind of knocked down a tad bit in the quality side of things. So um, make sure that if, you, uh, if your stream is noticing that you're buffering a lot, come into the video encoding setup and make sure that you, you are on the proper setting here. Even if you don't have an i7 or you're using an, uh, an older i5, you may even have to bump this down to super fast. Um, and this this kind of helps out with your, your CPU usage, it helps out with the processing power. Um, it may hit your quality a little bit, but what, what compares to a quality hit compared to like if you have an unwatchable stream? I would rather have a little bit less quality on stream, but have it smooth for everybody, than have a super gorgeous looking stream that no one could watch. So um, just make sure that when you're on XSplit, uh, that you always check your video encoding stuff to make sure that you are around the very fast, um, very fast uh, preset. Faster, super fast, that all these three right here are the three most used. Um, I would never go higher than faster, and I would never go lower than super fast. Um, if you end up going lower, then super fast, you may be time for a processor upgrade. Um, and I wouldn't touch fast, medium, or slow unless you have probably the newest i7. So, um, but I don't feel like these these are needed for streaming. So 
anyhow guys that is uh my tips for exploit and how to get um the buffering issue away how to get uh you know some streaming problems out of the way i know a lot of people have issues with buffering on their stream for some reason and hopefully this helps if this video has helped uh please let me know down below hit this hit the like button that'd be wonderful um, if it hasn't worked for you and you're still having issues please feel free to comment below as well i would love to help you guys out with uh you know, any issues you guys are having with XSplit. If you have any questions regarding XSplit or streaming at all, also uh, regarding anything, let me know in the comments below because if I get a lot of questions for certain um, functions or features of XSplit or Twitch, um, I can definitely make videos over those as well. So thank you guys once again for your time. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.